TK from A Girl's Essence. Now, if you're feeling lost, uninspired, not motivated to do very much, or just flat out meh, today is going to be a really great tip. Or kind of like a tool or an exercise, however you want to take it. Today's going to be cool. This technique I personally use today, so you're going to get kind of like behind the scenes of how I do my own. Uh, but it's really helped me reignite what I'm all about. Regain a new sense of purpose because we're halfway through 2015. So just reshuffling some of my goals around and getting clear on how things changed in the last six months and how do I want to look forward to the next six months. Who is it I want to be, who is it I want to be showing up as and also what is it I want to be creating with the girl's essence and in my life myself. So what it is, is it's vision boarding. Now, you may have heard about vision before, uh, vision boarding before, seen it, maybe done some yourself. Know that there is no right or wrong way. Everyone has their own way of doing it. I know for myself, mine have evolved over the years. The one behind me was one where I was going through a rough patch a couple of months ago, and I just needed to like a creative outlet. So I just got a whole bunch of magazines and stuck them on two canvases, and I went a bit crazy with some glitter and paints. That's what I needed at that moment. And today I did a completely different one. Um, and we did a vision board that I did earlier this year and completely different now. So wherever you are in life, know that if you've got one that you've, st like I still love that one, but perhaps you need like a, a little bit more of a boost, this could be a really cool exercise. So what is vision boarding? It's kind of like a visual goal setting. So. What I tend to find is it's like a, your life where you're heading in a glimpse. So you put everything up that you're kind of aiming for, who you want to show up as, what inspires you, however you may go about it. And you look at it as just like a glimpse that kind of ignites that feeling in your heart, like, ah, oh, gets you excited. Usually uses your favorite colors, maybe some, um, if you're a phrase girl like me, some great quotes or words. Uh, you can put your goals up there. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. So, how do you do one? Well, you can do one online or offline. For me, I'm a real tactile girl, I like to like get in the nutty and just like do it all myself. So I tend to do mine offline, but there are places, like if you're not feeling very creative or you've got so many pictures um, that you love online and you don't have the, act, uh, the ability to print them off, go for an online one. But for offline ones, uh, there are so many different ways of doing it. Kind of the key things you need, first of all, about two hours, I would say. Mine took about two hours, but I did quite a bit of fiddling around. So I would say, just so you're not rushed, give yourself two hours. Some great tunes, like an awesome kick-ass playlist. Uh, you can check out some of our Girls Essence like playlists, our upbeat ones, our mellow ones. You'll also need uh, like something to, I guess, create the board on. You can use a canvas, I tend to use a whiteboard as a backing and then I put two blank pieces of paper and I like kind of like stick them together. Uh, another thing that you'll probably need is some like pens, uh, I use post-it notes, textures, markers, glitter if you want it, paints if you want it, basically anything that will help you I guess put your soul or put your being onto a sheet of paper. And then the rest is kind of like however you want to do it. For me, now that I've learnt Core Desired Feelings from Danielle Laporte, uh, we do workshops on it for The Girl's Essence, but if you want to check out her work, just Google uh, the design map, and it's Danielle Laporte, L-A-P-O-R-T-E. And she's all about reverse engineering goal setting. Because uh, so many of us uh, put a goal out into the future, and only until like when we reach that goal can we feel successful or feel, we'll feel happy or um, feel beautiful or sexy or whatever it may be. And a really bizarre thing is that feelings you can experience at any given moment. So she's all about get clear on how you want to feel each and every day and then set goals based on, okay, this is how I want to feel and these are the goals that will help me get there. So you kind of just, it's just like a spin, you reverse engineer it. So my uh, core desired feelings are slightly altered so I can uh, get more uh, get more things done. Um, at the start of the year, uh, bravery was a big thing of mine. So I did shave for a cure. My hair was like way, way down here and I did shave for a cure. 
So around that time in my life, I really needed to tap into some bravery. And now I'm tapping, tapping. <laughs> Now I'm tapping more into uh, hustling, so getting things done, making it happen. So you'll notice that whenever you just kind of need to tap into a different energy, vision boarding is a great time to uh, do that. So once you've got all your materials, lay them all out, get some tunes going, make sure you have some water nearby, kick back, relax, kind of like get creative, do your thing. I'll show you my way of how I did it, kind of like on a time lapse speed dial. And know that like halfway through I decided to add some quotes and so everything kind of just like marshaled around again. So know that things will change. Just be willing to be like, all right, cool, whatever. It's just doing its own thing. And know that it may never quite be finished. You'll always want to like tweak something or add something. That's okay. Now you may be wondering, is this expensive? No, it does not have to be. You can use whatever's lying around the house, you know, scrap bits of paper, old magazines you got going around um, or laying around, um, any arts and crafts. It really does not have to be expensive. I didn't purchase one thing today when I did mine. I had it all there sitting in front of me. So I kind of just went around the house and I guess uh, gathered it all up. The second thing you may be wondering is, well, mine doesn't look like anything else I've seen out there. Who cares? It's your vision board. As long as when you look at it, it lights you up like a Christmas tree. It's your vision board. <laughs> the third question you may be wondering is, do I have to be creative? The answer is, nah, -uh, sister, you don't have to be creative. No, you really don't. <laughs> and you can probably head move better than mine. It's a lot easier with longer hair. Um, but no, you don't have to be creative. I myself don't consider myself to be uh, too artsy, so I just get a whole bunch of different coloured sticker notes, so it just looks a little bit prettier. Uh, the one vision board behind me, I literally paint with my fingers. So as long as you get colours you love, um, use materials that you love, like I love glitter, so I just kind of like douse my board with glitter. Um, but as long as you're using things that you love, no, you don't have to be creative, you just kind of have to play around until it feels good for you. So that is my little behind the scenes of vision boarding. I would love to see what yours would look like. If you want to do a time lapse, send me through some pics. Um, would love to see them because it's seriously one of my favorite exercises to do when I'm feeling flat. Um, or I've just got a brand new magazine. I'm like, oh, this quote is awesome. Uh, so yeah, let me know how you go. All my love, dream wildly, live boldly, and keep being awesome.